doing this is by the actually simple. You have this marker, so you call a linear induce the uh, uh, DNA PKC as activation. And then as a control, you inhibit the DNA PKC as kinase. You see uh, linear induce DNA PKC as uh, activation. And then you treat with ATM kinase.
major pathway, but not a major pathway. Because if you treat it with antioxidant, you do not reverse all the effects. So some of the selenium effects could be uh, drug independent. But altogether, they contribute to the senescence of the And this DNA PKCS part is not published yet. And then uh, we have produced this new data about PC3, and this was just published last week. Last week. So PC3 is also critical for the senescence of the And also, this is uh, a postulated substrate of DNA PKCS and ATA. So we look at, so we did the hypothesis whether this industry is involved in the DNA induced senescence or not. So for this study, we, the new thing is we generate this the piece industry a stable knockout cell in the normal classified uh, breast. And we look at senescence response, cell cycle analysis, DNA damage response, as before. So the knockdown efficiency is confirmed by the RTCI. Uh, so this is target at best level. So we have uh, four different forms, and the knockdown efficiency is about 85 to 80 to 95 percent. And we choose the, the most effective form, and then treat the, the scramble cells and uh, the uh, T3 fission cells with selenium. And uh, in the cells expressing T3 as a selenium dose dependent production of uh, senescence. But there is no selenium induced senescence in the P3 knockdown cells. That shows that P3 is involved in selenium induced senescence. And the, uh, without P3, P3, the cells are more resistant to the uh, selenium treatment. And this could be due to the lack of senescence as well as the uh, process because uh, P3 also play a, a critical role in the uh, process response. And uh, this selenium induced uh, selenium effect uh, could be uh, also involved in the ATM and DNA PKCS. Drug induced restricted with the ATM or DNA PKCS kinase inhibitor, who can reverse the uh, effect of the selenium on the cell fluid. Okay, and this is the ATM kinase uh, activation. So uh, selenium induced. ATM pathway activation in the normal cell is expressing the tissue history. But this uh, expression of ATM consolation is greater. So the explanation is there's an increase in normal stability in the tissue uh, history feature cell. And this, this uh, tissue history detection cell, they do not arrest in the future effect. So in the normal cell, they arrest. But in the P53 uh, deficiency, they do not arrest people and cells. So for this part, we add the P53 to this picture. We think the P53 is also involved in selenium induced senescence. And this is more downstream. Because P53 is known to be postulated on ATM in PKCS. So this is our major findings in the last few years. So the implication, uh, implications for this, uh, this study is the first is a selenium image cytoid tumorigenesis at the very tender stage. So the dose we use, they don't kill the cancer cell. And also the target is the uh, normal cell. So from here, we think selenium can act on the Induction of uh, senescence and ATM dependent pathway at the, the early stage of uh, tumor genesis. So, this may provide some new ideas for the uh, scientific support to reconsider the, the clinical trial using appropriate form of and maybe target different uh, population. So, uh, this work is done by, by the people who 
Okay, thank you.